how do we have fractions when we have the same numerator and how do we have fractions when we have the same denominator you really need to know how to have fractions so please pause the video and try them first done yeah you did you tried good okay now let me ask you which question is easier the answer should be this one right here whenever we are adding fractions if we have the same denominator this right here is so much easier and the way to do it is you just keep the denominator as how it is which is still 9 and then you look at the top which we have 4 here and then we are adding 1 so we can just go ahead and do 4 plus 1 and the answer right here will be 5 look at 5 over 9 can we reduce this no we cannot we cannot find a number that goes into 5 and then that goes also going to 9 so we are done the answer is just 5 over 9. Now, how would you add fractions when we have the same numerator? Do we just keep the numerator like this, 2, and then we just do this plus that, which is, mm, is 12? No, this is not the way to do it. Surprising, huh? So now, let's actually talk about how we can do this. Whenever we are adding fractions, the key is that we will have to get the same denominator. Look at the 7 and also look at the 5. Try to factor it, but we cannot, right? This is just 7 times 1, but we don't reduce it. Likewise, this is just 5 times 1, we cannot really reduce it. What we do is, we can multiply the top and bottom by 5 for the first fraction. So you see, we have 7 times 5. And for the second fraction, we can just do 5 times 7, so that they have the same denominator, but don't forget to do the same thing on the top. Now. 5 times 7, or 7 times 5, we get 35. And then for the other one, this is also 35. 2 times 5 is 10. Now we can do, and then likewise, 2 times 7 is 14. And now you see, we have the same denominator. It will be the same situation like this. So we can just go ahead and keep the same denominator, which is 35. And then we do 10 plus 14, which is 25. Sorry, 24. And then look, 24 over 35, can we reduce it? Can we find number that goes into this and that? No. So again, this right here will be the answer. We just have to box it. So that's pretty much it. 